This is a production of Cornell University. It's pruning season, and I wanted to show you what the vine looks like before we prune, during prune, and after pruning. So this is a pretty standard grapevine here for the Finger Lakes. We're in a Riesling block. This is called a, a double guillo, or a two-tier flat bow system. So this was a cane pruned vine uh, last season. And so here's our first cane that comes out. This is another cane, cane here and then a cane here too. And from our canes, we grew the shoots right here. These are some nice shoots. Uh, and on the shoots are buds. And so basically our fruiting zone was right through here. So our, our buds would have gone leaf, leaf, and then cluster, cluster. And you can see where some clusters came off here. And then it would go up from there. So up above here, this was all leaf area. Our fruit was in here hidden in some leaves. So now what we need to do is prune these so that we are laying out some canes again for this year. So I'm going to move up the row here. I prepared a vine and cut out a little bit of the stuff around it so that you can better see what we're doing. So here's a vine that I'm preparing for pruning. So what we want to do is get rid of these old canes and we need to lay down new canes so that they'll produce shoots this year. So we're going to look at what we have that's going to be decent for laying down. And in this case, this wood is quite poor. I just snapped it as I was bringing it around the wire. But it has uh, gray wood that's up here. And so that means that the cane is basically dead or is in very poor shape. So this is not going to work to be a cane to lay down there because none of that is going to grow. That's all gray when you cut through there. So that's not gonna work for me to lay it down. So we're looking for something to lay down here. I don't particularly want to use this one for two reasons. One is that it's very thick in diameter. This is what we call bullwood. And we want something that's a little more narrow like this. Uh, the second reason is that this is quite far out from this region that we call the head of the vine. And if we use this one, then we'll have no fr fruit production along this area. So that's not great either. So basically there's nothing on this cane that I can use. So I'm going to cut it out. We don't need any of this down here. So I'm just going to get rid of some of this. Clean it up and get it out of here. and get rid of the rest of this cane too. And you can see it actually entwines into the neighboring vine. So that's gone. And what we're gonna have to do is find something else to lay down in its place. And in this case, this might be a pretty decent choice. It's got some nice periderm, as we would say, this nice brown wood along here and would probably tie out reasonably well here. It gets a little gray at the end, but uh, it might be our best choice, I think, for what's gonna go along here. So for now, I'm gonna go like this and get rid of this gray stuff at the end. So that's one cane. Now we need to lay out another cane along this fruiting wire. This one looks not too bad, uh, a little speckled a little thicker than I would like, but we don't really have any good options left here. So I'm gonna get rid of this. Cut off this old cane. It's just easier to get these out of the way by cutting. And that one's gone. And I think the plan's going to be to lay this one down. Got to get it through our catch wires here. Got to clip on our wires. So this one's clearly a little long. It goes into the next vine, so I'm going to snip that off there. So that will go down along that wire. This one along here. 
So moving to the other side of the vine, we're looking for some canes to lay down. We've cut this one off already. We've got some nice uh, gray wood here that we know is not going to produce uh, very good buds or shoots. It's actually got some uh, spots from Phomopsis right along the cane here. And so that is probably why the cane is mostly dead. So in this case, we're looking for two canes that are close to the head of the vine that we can lay down on these fruiting wires. So let's see, this one does not look too bad. That one is gray at the top, so that's not gonna be very good. And then this one gets out a little bit far. So in this case, I think this is probably my best shot. I'll get this out of here. So then I'll lay this one down along here. Now we need a cane for on the other side. Uh, neither of these is perfect again. Get, this one gets more gray towards the top, but this one is a little bit bigger with longer internodes. So hard to decide exactly what to use here. I think I'd probably go for this one. So in this case, I'm gonna cut this off. Get rid of all this. Clean up this mess. You can see this is all dead wood. It's had Phomopsis on it. This comes from the neighboring vine, so I'm going to just cut this out of the way here. And this here is actually a really, really long shoot. So we've left this one as a potential trunk renewal. So often our trunks will get damaged from the cold. In the Finger Lakes region, we normally leave a couple of trunks so that we have a backup. If one gets damaged, we've still got another one. We've left this here in case we want to replace one of the trunks. In this case, it's not necessary. There's no visible damage here. Having said that, when there's cold damage on a trunk, it can often show up a couple of years later. Uh, but this is actually this huge chute that comes up and across here. So I'm going to get rid of this whole thing, cut it out of the way. I'm going to leave a bud down here though, so that we can use this as a potential renewal again. So the bud at the bottom here will grow into another shoot that will grow up. And then if we want to replace the trunk next year, we'll have that. So let me cut this out and I'll show you what this is going to look like. So I'm going to cut off the top of this because it's longer than we need. So this is going to be our cane for this side. And then this one, again, is longer than we need and is really big here at the top. But this is going to be our cane that wraps along this fruiting wire right here. So this is a cane pruned vine now. So we've got our four canes, one, two, three, four, and each of these has a series of nodes on them, right here, and each node is a bud, and these buds are going to grow into shoots, and those shoots are going to produce gra grapes this growing season. This has been a production of Cornell University, on the web at cornell.edu.